Tracy. Welcome to my channel. If you haven't been here before, and if you watch my videos, as always, I thank you so, so much. I upcycle clothes. I've been doing it for over a decade, well over a decade, and selling them. But now I just do tutorials. I love to take thrift store items and turn them into fun, wearable art. And today we're working on these jeans. Now I know I'm kind of far away, but they have butterflies on them chains and charms. We're just turning an ordinary thrift store pair of jeans into something that you'd find at a boutique and pay lots of money for. And this was easy to do. And I'm gonna show you how. Let's get started. Okay, so these are the jeans I'm starting with. And it really doesn't matter the fabric content. If uh, I already did this hole in the knee a while back and cut the hem off the bottom, so if you kind of want to do the hole like I have, all I did was put them on and stuck a straight pin in right where the knee is. And then I cut out a rectangle and the washer and dryer frayed that. So that's really simple. So the first thing I want to do is take a garbage bag and cut it in half and put it inside the pant leg. So I found this stencil at Hobby Lobby and I only need the butterfly really and I liked this one because the butterfly was nice and large. It's like three and a half inches across and then I have some black just acrylic craft paint and it can be any brand really and Here's a fabric medium or textile medium. There's all kinds of brands. To me, it doesn't really matter which. So I have this bowl. I actually have three of them. I only need one. And I'm going to just mix up half of the acrylic paint and half of the textile medium in this bowl. And I'll just stir it with this little plastic knife. Okay, so I've done a couple butterflies. And I know a lot of you have probably stenciled before, but just in case you haven't, I'm just using this brush and it's not really a stencil brush. Stencil brushes are round and they have hard bristles and you can find that in, at any craft store. So what I'm doing here is I don't want all my butterflies to be facing the same way. Some will be upside down, some will be angled. Um, so I've done two, and now I think, let's see, I'll put this right, yeah, maybe right about here. And the key to stenciling, if you've done it before, you know this, do not put too much paint on your bristle or on your brush. And that is why I have this paper plate here, so I can dip it in and then just kind of dab it off. And these will not be perfect because it's fabric. There's folds and bends and, but to stipple it or to stencil it, you just pounce up and down until you get things completely covered. Okay, now we have three done and I'll just continue placing this in different places. Now, I will take between each time I lay this down, I have a paper towel here and I'll just kind of rub the back on it so that um, in case any smears leaked under, it won't get onto the jeans. Okay, so I think that's enough on the pant leg. You know, I do have a few black smudges here and there, and I think that's probably almost unavoidable, and I could live with that. So I'm going to let this dry, and I'm going to, while it's drying, show you how I make a little chain for the opposite side of the pants, and then once it's completely dry, I'll show you how I heat set these. Okay, so now I want to make a chain with some charms to hook from one belt loop in the front to a belt loop in the back. 
And so I have this old rosary that came in a bag. Sometimes I just buy those big bags of jewelry that are broken. And it's kind of a mystery bag. So this was in there and it's all broken. So I'm going to give that new life. And this is about 17 inches long from end to end. And then I just found a old silver chain. And this one is about 21 inches long from end to end. And I will put them together like this. And then I will hang charms on them. So to put the chains together and have a clasp to hook onto the belt loop, I'm using two of these lobster claw clasps. They're silver, and I get mine from Amazon, but maybe you have old keychains laying around, or if you want to thrift something like this, you can go to the purses. If you can find an, a small, inexpensive purse, a lot of times the straps have these at the bottom, and I've definitely used those before. And so I need to connect this to the end, and I've already done that over here. And how I do that is I take, these are called jump rings, and they are just jewelry making rings. And I have an assortment of colors and sizes, and you can get assorted packages on Amazon, or if you just know what color you want, you could get a small package of what you want at either like Walmart or Hobby Lobby, but they're just little rings that open up and pull apart. And I also use these tools. These are two small jewelry making tool or pliers, kind of like needle nose. And this is a little wire cutter. And you can also buy these in little sets and they're pretty inexpensive. I think you can get a set of these for like eight bucks on Amazon if you don't already have them. Okay, so I want to attach this clasp to these pieces of jewelry. So I'm taking my silver jump ring into my pliers and then I'll take the other pliers and I'll just open that up and I will set one end of the chain into the open part, set the other one in there, set the hook in there, and then I'll just close that back up. This is really pretty simple if you have the right stuff and it's pretty easy to get these tools and they're not that expensive. Okay, so now I have the basic chain and the clasp to go onto the jeans, but now I want to put some charms on it. Okay, I've decided to use three charms and I just have this kind of star. This also comes in, you know, from jewelry pieces, bracelets, things like that. This is like a purse and this is a key. And I will put them on just sort of like this. And how I'll attach those is I'll go back to my my jump rings and I'll choose a smaller silver size to attach those to the bottom necklace here. And so again, I just go to my pliers, open it up a little bit, and I'll just stick one end of the key. Oh, this might be too, eh, barely fit on there pretty narrow. So I've got the key on there and I will just stick it into one of the chain links of the necklace. Once I get that in there, I just close it up. So now I have one charm on. Now I need to put the other two on. So this is what it looks like. And it's all ready to put onto the belt loops. Okay, so now my butterflies are all dry. And what I want to do is heat set that. That'll just help it last longer when you wash and dry. Um, you should be able to wash and dry these just fine. I would wash them alone, turn them inside out, 
and wash them just on a gentle cycle and you know dry as usual or line dry so i am just taking an old tea towel that i just keep this on my ironing board all the time because i protect my fabrics with it and i am going to lay it over i'm going to focus on one butterfly at a time and i am just going to hold that on here for about 30 seconds per butterfly and I'll keep moving it so I don't scorch any of my materials or fabrics. And I'll just keep moving my towel down until all my butterflies are complete. 